Today we're going to read the story of Room on the Broom. I notice on this cover there's that witch riding a broom. I wonder who else is going to join them on the broom. This story is by Julia Donaldson. She's the author and the pictures were drawn by Alex Schaeffler. He's the illustrator. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on the thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. Look, the hat. dog has the hat in his mouth. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew, the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away flew the bow from her braid, just like that. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear spl splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then she said, as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. And then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak. I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog found it on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew, the frog jumped for joy, and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be, and which with french fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, Just this once I'll have witch without fries. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads and had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! 
the dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he sputtered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily and the cat found a cone. The bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose... A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch. They all clamored on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Boys and girls, how did you like that story? What was your favorite part of the story? I liked the part where all of the other animals saved the witch from the dragon. All right, we're finished with our story. Go to the next slide and we're going to talk about some words from our story.